University of North Dakota graduate student Taylor Linder is researching how grassland birds respond with high intensity, short duration grazing, where cattle are moved more frequently through multiple paddocks. Um, and we're looking at that to more traditional rotational grazing where you have cattle um, in paddocks for about four weeks, five weeks at a time before moving them around. And we're asking, you know, what does that mean for grassland birds? Um, how, is, how's that, how, how does that impact their productivity? By working with a lot of these private landowners and private ranchers out here, we can try to find the best outcome for both cattle and for birds. Longtime cattle rancher Daryl Oswald is a participating landowner in this study because he's interested in how his grazing system is beneficial to wildlife. We move these cattle uh, about every oh, 14 to 21 days. Our grazing system is all about rest and recovery. You're building soil, building plants. Hopefully, you know, you're aiding the desirable plants. Along with that comes you know, I think an increase in, in your bird populations and your wildlife. One of the key questions researchers are looking to answer is if bird nests are getting trampled by cattle in a smaller area versus a more traditional rotational grazing system. We were expecting to see trampling being a bigger issue on sites where you have a lot of cattle in a small paddock with a short amount of time. And actually, we're not finding that to be the case. Oswald says he wants the whole ecosystem to function as well as it can on his family ranch. This system allows that to, uh, it fosters this system better because the, the wildlife, whether it's pollinators, whether it's birds, insects, deer, grouse. And so this type of grazing helps foster that type of success for, for the different types of organisms. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.